Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. Happy Thursday, everybody. I was talking about humility at the beginning of the week, and I, that's just still kind of on on me today, and perhaps it's on you too. I just want to I want to remind you of the words of Scripture. I'm going to read a verse here in a minute, but I want to remind you of a, of, of a truth that I think is essential and too often forgotten in this cultural moment we find ourselves in today. That scripture is this, God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. God uh, resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Let me say it another way. If you want God to bless you, stay low. If you want God to bless you, stay low. The Bible seems to suggest holistically from the Old to the New Testament that God's hand is not with the arrogant. God's hand is not with the haughty. And I know sometimes we want to push back on that. And so far that it seems like the arrogant ones and the haughty ones seems to be the more successful ones or the more influential ones or the more popular ones. And often in this worldly culture, that is the case. But the Bible does not say that the world Okay, resist the proud and blesses the humble. This is that God does that. And at some point, believer, you've got to do the hard work to ask your question, whose blessings do you want? Blessings of the world or the blessings of God? I don't know about you and yours, but as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. And I want the blessing of God on my life. What would it look like this year if you intentionally worked to be more humble? Philippians chapter two and verse six says of Jesus, who though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant being born in the likeness of men. I love this passage because essentially it's saying that Jesus Christ, who was and is God himself, did not count his equality with God the Father a thing to be grasped, but rather he emptied himself taking on the form of a servant. Friend, if you want to be blessed by God, Paul says, stop grasping. Stop stop grasping and empty yourself because life is not found by grasping after your best life now, but by emptying your best before Christ. And that's truly where peace is. Are you smelling what I'm stepping in? God says this year, I want you to intentionally pursue humility in your life. So this is how we start to work this thing out in our lives. Uh, next time you get in a conversation with the peeps, okay, ask yourself, just learn how to just stop and say, hey, have I been, have I been hogging the conversation? Next time uh, the family is kind of going at it about where we're going to go to dinner or what we're going to decide on and if we're going to ch- go to church or not or what movie are we going to watch, ask yourself, do I have to have my way right here? Or can I lay down my rights for others? There's so many minuscule opportunistic moments where you can show the humility of Christ and thereby bless everyone around you. Let's be humble for the Lord's sake. He resists the proud, but he blesses the humble. And that's hope for today. I'll see you next time.